Hey you all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruben. I am from Colombia and I've been learning English almost four years ago. And with this video, I want you to be here to listen to different approaches we have to learning language. Not, not to learn, because the other method is acquiring the language by comprehensive input. And by this, I found one way First of all, I'm going to explain you the way that I found because this is the purpose of this video. I want you to apply this if you're just learning a language from the from scratch or if you want to pick up a different method. And the fact is that I found a podcast and I think podcast could be an excellent way just if you listen to it, not just if you hear it. Because if you just hear it, in a, if you start doing another way and other things, the the things you're gonna learn are not gonna be like well learned in in the in the short period, you know. So then I consider the best way to use these podcasts, those podcasts is by listening carefully and try to do something extra but that doesn't acquire, require much of your concentration you know what i mean okay you can do this by going to podcast go basically they have a lot of programs a lot of languages and between those are french spanish english german so it is called coffee break easily you can pick up it, the language you want and, and also you can I mean, if you know Spanish, you can just type in Spanish the lang your target language. So let's say English, Francés, Alemán, eh, bueno, cualquiera de, esos, cualquiera de esos. But if you already eh, know English and want to learn Spanish, German or French, so just go through it. I like the methodology because it is basically, if you sit down with another one, and taking a coffee and just explain to you what you need to to know like how to say this okay learn it how to communicate this how to start with these phrases the one it is just like like this and you can as well listen to more other content let's just let just coffee break but there is another ways another programs another podcasters that you can easily watch to see this movie. If you imagine what a cow does, no. moo, yeah. So Spanish cows would say moo, moo, and then at the end, smile, e, e, moo, moo. That's it. Perfect. So if you've ever been in Spain and been driving past a field full of cows, you'll notice that they're all very, very happy and smiling away to themselves. Moo, moo, moo bien. Muy bien. Maybe I will go someplace warm, such as Mexico. Hablando de México. Hey, Cecile, are you still there? Hello again, Brian. ¿Cómo está tu inglés? I think it's intermediate level. Because it's not perfect yet. But I think it's not bad. How long have you been studying English? Um, This is kind of embarrassing for me because... I've been studying English for 12 years now. That's a lot of time. In the second part of this video, I want to give you an insight about how is it to learn a language and how is it to pick a language. And by this, I want to show you a video that reflects that way in now, watch the video from uh, Stephen Crushing. And you can tell me which of these two very brief lessons you like better. Uh, here's lesson number one. Wir werden jetzt anfangen, Deutsch zu lernen. Und ich möchte in Voraus sagen, dass nach meiner Meinung, Deutsch ist eine sehr schöne Sprache. Und ich hoffe, dass Sie alle sehr viel Erfolg mit Deutsch haben werden. What do you think? Good lesson so far? Do you think if I kept talking to you like that, you'd pick up German? Not very likely. How about if I uh, repeated it? 
Would that help? Probably not. How about if I said it louder? Would that help? Probably not. How about if I said it and you repeated it back? Again, I don't think that would help. The truth is that none of these things, none of these things help. None of these things mean anything. And I hope you can see that now. Here's lesson number two. And for this, you have to watch me carefully. Das ist meine Hand. Verstehen Sie das? Hand? Everyone say, yeah, I can hear you, even though it's the TV audience. <laughs> Good. Kopf. Das ist mein Kopf. Verstehen Sie Kopf? Ja? Gut. Kopf. And here I'll draw a picture now. Kopf. Ist gut, ja? Schön. Kopf. Das ist Mr. Spock, ja? Mr. Spock hat zwei Ohren. Ohren. Verstehen Sie Ohren? Er hat zwei Ohren. Okay, Mr. Spock. Ja? Ach, nein. Entschuldigung. Okay. Augen. Verstehen Sie Augen? Augen. Wie viele Augen? Eins, zwei, drei Augen. Drei Augen. Ist das richtig? Drei Augen? Nein. Wir haben nur zwei Augen. Mund. Verstehen Sie Mund? Und da, hier ist eine Zigarette, ja? Nein. Zigaretten sind nicht gut. If you understood lesson number two, not every word, but more or less, I did everything necessary to teach you German. Okay, this is one way. So the first one, which is the traditional way that you learn the language, that you spend hours of hours and hours studying it, learning vocabulary, and trying try to learn all the grammar possible to be communicated afterwards. Then the other method is, is the supposed the, the, the natural method, where basically it is just being so using the language or like being immersed in the language, but just trying to pick up the language by comprehensive Facebook. Like if your father tells you in another language, okay, pick up, pick up this and bring, bring me back, <laughs> bring me back that stuff. So then you go and do and do that, and that's that's basically what is the language. And I've heard as well that it's gonna take more time to acquiring the language than learning the language. But if you get to acquire the language, you will be more expert. Like, like you you will be more proficient in the language. Like you don't have a lot of information about grammar, but just about the way of communicating. Just that I want mm, tell you what I think about this which is that when you when we when one is 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 advanced in one language we have that capability to understand by comprehensive input because we already know certain stuff in the language that we have learned through studying it but for those beginning stages, I think that's the most difficult thing to do. That's the most complex tax, you know? And because of that, I want you to com combine those methods, combine that, try to listen to something and then trying to learn it, but not just learn it, else studying it in then apply the comprehensive input by acquiring. That's all for this video. That's everything what I wanted to say. Hopefully I could get my point across with this video. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your, your comments. How do you see this topic about um, compelling input in learning the language? And I'll see you around. Thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye.